Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, Tuesday morning, afternoon, whatever you want to call it. It's about one o'clock. CNC router showed up in this teeny tiny little box. Um, it's not the biggest CNC router, but it's big enough to do the majority of the stuff that I need done. Um, so pretty much, I mean, you can see it. It's fairly, it's packaged fairly well. So no complaints on that end so far. We'll start pulling this thing out, see if it uh, actually um, survived the trip from China via California. Ugh. Seems like surprisingly this one is mostly assembled. Um, it seems some of the larger ones actually you have to assemble yourself a good bit. See the the gantry here is in place. You can move that back and forth. So we got all the all the wiring ran for the stepper motors and I'm sure the stepper motors and all that stuff's in a box in there. So you will have to mount the stepper motors. They're not put on here yet. Let's see if I can't find a better spot for y'all. My table is kind of covered up and stuff at the moment. I, uh, there we go. I've been rearranging the garage, the shop, whatever you want to call it, to kind of make room for this thing. But now that I see it, I might not build that extra table. I might just put this thing on the on one of the benches I got. Let um, me see spindle motor. It's air cooled. Uh, I wanted to get a water cooled one, but just didn't have the the finances to to do that. So this will this will work for now. Um, they do have a water cooled version available, um, so I should be able to get the uh, the mounts and all that stuff from the, from the same people I got this from. Lots of packing materials in here, that's for sure. Ah, if they would only mark the boxes up and down and then actually tape them closed. That way, when you go to pull it out, you don't dump everything in the box. Um, main box, speed control for this, for the cutting spindle. Uh, should have all the drivers for the steppers in there. And the breakout board. Here's the stepper motors. They pick up some hardware that I just dumped in here. We don't lose anything. Parallel cable for the computer hookup, power cable, a little toolbox with some fuses and hold down clamps and stuff. Um, here's a little stepper motors in there. Uh, spacers. Most of which have all the hardware in them except for where all these bolts came out. So, uh, it appears like this will be a fairly simple and quick assembly. If I can find the rest of the hardware. One thing I did not pay attention to in the uh, the classified ad is it doesn't come with Mach 3, so they say. It's kind of like everything from China. It's all. It, it's encrypted, I guess you could say. It says that uh, it doesn't include the software, but then it says the software comes on the CD. <laughs> so it's like, which one is it? Does it come with it or does it not? So anyway, Mach 3 is free for hobbyists. Um, the only downside to it is you're limited to, I think, 100 lines of code, which doesn't take long to to go through really so anyways here we are with the little CNC machine um, I just went and bought about a hundred dollars worth of lumber to build a table for this thing but as small as it is I think I'm just gonna leave it on the table and not have to have another table floating around here so uh, what we do is kind of go through inventory stuff make sure it's all good to go I'm gonna bolt the stepper motors on here it's really just a matter of 
sliding it in place, some Loctite, and you're good to go. Um, so I'm not really gonna mess with showing y'all how to assemble this thing. It's basically eight bolts and three set screws, and you're done with building. <laughs> when it comes time to start setting it up, I'll bring that out there. So, uh, till the next video, we'll see y'all back here in a moment.